Hey everyone, this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. It is definitely the busy time of year, right? We're only a few days from Christmas if you celebrate that. So I have been busy wrapping up work and have had not had a chance to finish up this process video, but now I have and I can share it with you. So I am working on December daily day nine and I wanted to document some of the shows and movies that we had been watching. I am obsessed with this TV uh, digital stamp from one of the past kits. I believe it's actually considered a notepad um, or it was physically, but I just use it as a digital stamp and of course as a TV and I, I just love it. It works for so many projects and I don't mind using the same TV over and over again. So my thought is to do a large laminated floating pocket with a selfie of my husband and I in a TV. And then behind it, I will have two of the sh movies, yeah, movies that we watched over that weekend. And I was going to have it so that way you pull it out and flip it and kind of change the movie. It's not gonna work, friends, it's not. It's gonna be quite an adventure, just like number five, but I wanted to kind of show you my thinking and again, show you the real process. And uh, this time I did spend probably too much time trying to figure it out, but after walking away and then working on this process video, I realized that I probably should have used foam uh, adhesive to lift up the TV to make it more three-dimensional and that way it would give the insert more room to slide. I'll explain more when we get there. But right now, I just put double-sided adhesive on the photo of my husband and I, and then I made the knobs go to the right. They are not gonna stay that way, but that's how they start out. And I took this TV like stamp and then I was able to kind of figure out by drawing a shape in Photoshop Elements what size I needed for the photo. And it works perfect. Like I said, I think I did this last year for the 16th, I believe. And I just did colored TVs and like red and beige and green. But this time I just did black. I might do like a wrap up of TV shows at the end of this album since I have two albums. Um, so I'm just kind of thinking about that. But I knew that since I had taken a photo of my husband and I, I wanted to just kind of do like a halfway point of what we've watched. Okay, so over the weekend, we watched um, a movie called Family Switch. That one is pretty new to Netflix. And then the other one was, I think, called Stepdads or Dads or something. So my thinking was to have Family Switch on the front, well, on one side and then the other side would be the second movie and I would use an Avery tab to pull it out and you could change, I wanna say change the channel, but <laughs> you know what I mean, like you could pull it out and switch the movie. So the first problem was that the knobs needed to be on the other side because just the way that I was thinking how, you know, you change the channel so the knobs should be on the other side, that way you could pull out the tab and switch. So I peeled off everything and then put the other TV on top of the selfie and then I was able to go back onto the back side and adhere the second TV. So that was the first problem and then my next problem was kind of thinking well I need to make sure that I put adhesive on everything except the outer portion of the TV. And I also need a little bit of extra paper on this uh, photo. So I add that extra piece of paper and then I slide it in and I can essentially add the tab to make it pull out. Now I first did this idea in October daily and that's why I said I would need some foam because I think that's how I made it work in October Daily is using the foam adhesive to kind of lift up that TV and give it more room. But if you guys have a better idea, I would love to know and you guys can just let me know in the comment section. But I felt like my brain was stuck because this is not the first time that I've done this idea, but I could not get it to work. 
So I'm still finagling with it. I pick it up and I kind of shake it to see if it's gonna fall out. It slides a little bit. That problem is fine. That I can deal with. But once I pull it out, I notice that the movie is essentially upside down. And I'm like, okay, so do I rip it apart and try to fix it? And yes, I rip it apart, but I put it back upside down. So I ripped it off and just put it back upside down and didn't even realize. So <laughs> I'm like just not having a great time with this. I do decide, you know what, I'm going to just set it aside and work on the second portion of this project and just come back to it in a little bit because I need to just, I need to just stop. Um, the second portion is going to be the left hand side of this page where I have a bunch of little TVs and I used a a uh, heavy black cardstock so my silhouette did not cut it as precisely as it could so I had to like peel off all the different pieces that it didn't get and then there is some torn pieces of paper but I think in the end you can't really tell once you're looking at it but for me it was frustrating to like peel off all the pieces and trim trim it all down. So I have six TVs in black and a total of four different shows and movies. And then the extra two spots will have the papers over on the left-hand side. I thought that, that would be fun to add in a little bit of paper and also some word phrase stickers and probably some stars. So up in the top left corner, we have the Naughty Nine. That might be a new movie. I don't know. My husband found it on Netflix and it's about a group of kids who are very naughty and decide to um, go to the North Pole to like heist the naughty list, basically take off with the naughty list. So that was a pretty good one, better than we expected. I'm going to use my glue pen to glue down these TVs because I want to make sure that they stick and the pictures of the actual movies are precise so that way they have to fit exactly in the right spot. So that way the TV, um, it's not overlapping the TV, if that makes sense. We also watched the Bad Guys Holiday Special, which was really fun. We like the Bad Guys movies. And this bright red paper has all these fun words on it. So I wanted to find a spot where I could potentially cut a shape for the inside of the TV, but still kind of see the word. And I found the word hap happiest. So I went ahead and cut that out and you can still kind of tell that that's what it says inside the TV. So I love that idea. And I'll add a little bit of embellishments to it later on. The next TV is going to be Hilda. And I know I, I talked to you guys about that. I think in the last video, Hilda is my daughter and my favorite show. We just, we just love it. It's the best. And I found a cute image of it online and we'll use that for the image of the show. And then in the bottom left corner, we have uh, Harry Potter 5. I believe that's what it was. Recently, we've watched 5, 6, and the first part of 7 because my daughter read those books. So I might be getting my movies mixed up at this point. But we do like to rewatch them every year. But now it's a little more it's a little more special because like I said my daughter is reading the book so that's always fun to talk about the differences and she likes to point those differences out as we watch so that's been fun and then the last tv will just have that I, I want to say it's like a Swiss pattern. I thought I heard someone say that, but this pattern right here, I just love it. It's so pretty. So I'll use that pattern paper and then I will go back to the laminated sheet and figure out what I want to add as far as the number or embellishments. I just love doing laminated pages like floating in the middle. I think that that's so fun and just something different than say like a white sheet of paper. So I love it. I suggest you always try out a laminated uh, insert for one of your stories. So I'm going to grab my word phrase stickers and also some chipboard stars to add to. I think that this is the point <clears throat> or I'm getting close to the point where I just cut out the tab and just say forget it. Like I'm not going to waste any more time trying to figure it out. Um, 
like I've said, I am in a season of life where I have a finite amount of time and I can't just, I don't have the luxury of like wasting a bunch of time. So it's like I keep saying, it's okay that it didn't turn out, but it did turn out pretty great. I think this page, I really loved it with a laminated page and all the sprinkle of stars. And I even found a red uh, clear nine in my number stash. I use acrylic boxes, like jewelry boxes. Well, they're intended for jewelry pieces, I think, but they are pla not acrylic. I said acrylic, but I meant plastic. Plastic divided boxes, and I use those to divide all my different numbers. I love the chipboard in the main kit, so I went ahead and used a bunch of those on this page. I pulled out the brown perforated word strips, but I decided to go tone on tone for the left hand side and in the middle of the red paper I put comfort and by the let the number nine I put uh tonight because like I said we watched two great movies over the weekend and it was really fun to get to watch tv together because we're just so exhausted so it's nice to have the weekend to watch movies Okay, so I am getting ready to wrap up this project and this is this is the point where I just cut it and just say forget it. I'm not going to keep messing with it. I want to finish this project and move on. So I really love the family switch or yeah, family switch image that I found. So I went with that as my main photo, grabbed a, a word phrase sticker that says naughty list because um, they were kind of on the naughty list, not being nice to each other. So I thought it worked well. And then I added some stars on top of the TV to wrap up this page. And I just, I love it. I love how it turned out. I love the TV image and I will continue to use it probably again and again. I do have to add some adhesive to the back of eight so that way I can adhere nine. And I'm, and I'm showing you guys because I want you guys to know that I am not missing out on adhering these pages back to back because I forget to do it all the time and I wind up with a ton of pages that need to be adhered together. So that's number nine. Let's move on to number 10, which is going to be a very quick page because I did a lot digitally and I'm not going to do a lot to the main spread except add some tags. So for the 10th of December, it was part of my 10 on 10 project. So I knew that I was going to take more photos and I decided to include them in my December daily, similar to what I did in my October daily where I did a 10 on 10 in that album or that project. So I found these digital numbers from the numbers quarterly kit from Allie Edwards. So I cut out three of those for each of the numbers, one and zero, and layered them over the top. And I have 10 journaling uh, spots for the different stories of the day. And oh my goodness, I could not draw a straight line to save my life. I don't know what was happening, but I goofed on several of the journaling lines making it straight. But that's okay. So all of these stories just cover from the start of the day to the end of the day. And I will add some word phrase stickers uh, to, for each of these. At first, I thought I was just going to do like one or two, but I wound up looking through my word phrase stickers and decided let's just add one to the top of each of these. So up in the top left corner, I just said we slept in late and the elves were reading on the couch. I also spent way too much time on the computer working on December daily, but going very slow because of my computer. I said Sundays include catching up on laundry and figuring out the menu for next week. The weekends usually include family time. Today we all headed to the park and we walked the trails and then the track. And above that, I put self-care. For over on the right hand side, I put you can do it and below it, it says finishing this busy day by reading on the couch before the chores, but eventually getting to all the must do's to prepare for the new week. And then I have a funny one down towards the middle below the zero. It says tough. I put a sticker that says tough and I reminded my daughter to use her words and to not slam her door. Can you believe we are already in that phase with 
with my daughter. I cannot. So I reminded her, please don't slam your door. And then I said, for added effect, I said, that door actually belongs to dad and I. And then my daughter decided to be hilarious and a little sassy and put a note on the door that says property of mom and dad pool. So (laughs) that was pretty funny. And that photo is in the second row on the left side of the page. Um, I also have a hilarious photo of a giant hedge. You can see it on the left side page, top row, and it is a bush with a paper plate and like a red nose. My son saw that, pointed it out to us on our way home from the park, and it was fantastic. So I had to get a picture, and I just decided to include it. There's also a photo on the right-hand side of my son doing like the walk like an Egyptian move. So I hope he appreciates that that is now on the album forevermore. So (laughs) I don't even remember why he was doing that. I think he was being silly with his soccer jersey, but it's hilarious. I was inspired by not only the transparency tags in the kit, um, the December daily kit. At least I think it's a kit. I don't know. But either way, the transparency tags, they might be an add-on. But I used those and also the uh, stories by the month December tags to create kind of a border down at the bottom to give a little bit more color and excitement to this page since it is on a white background. I did something similar for my October daily where I used a white background and then stamped a 10 on the left hand side and just a little bit of stamping in the corners and I felt like it was too plain. So for this one I went all out with the tags and all the different colors and I will blend the tags together as far as transparency and then the digital ones that I cut out. So like for transparencies I have one that says joy kind of a mint green one peace and joy one is going to go on the right hand side and then a black uh, gold striped one and then for the digital ones I have love these memories love you Mary words and photos here for this and December right now so I think those turned out fantastic and I had to shrink them down fairly a lot a lot actually but it worked out because now they were just about the same size as the transparencies as you can see as always I'm struggling with alignment and getting everything lined up but I use my ruler and just hope for the best and earlier I think I put in this video that I was struggling with the top row on the left hand side and I just thought I could you know align it maybe or maybe it wasn't aligned I was just thinking about it too much, so I just let it go. For the most part, these photos are straight, and now I can add on the tag border, and that'll be it for this page. I thought about adding some stamping, maybe to this page or maybe to the 10, but I just wanted to keep it simple, and I feel like the bold border at the bottom really does the trick. I also have a photo of my... um, my phone where the time said 345. I thought that was a unique time. I love seeing unique times. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I saw it and it said 345 and I snapped a photo of it. Also got a photo of my dinner. I'm not very good at getting food photos and so I tend to not include them, but um, I had to include that one because we made delicious breakfast quesadillas. And then the photo of my daughter's sign, I actually moved that over to the right-hand side. And just like I had trouble punching a hole through my transparency for day four, I remembered that the trick is to use an X-Acto knife. So I, I pressed it with my hole punch. I got the initial shape of the hole and then used my X-Acto knife. So that worked perfect because... That allowed me to cut the hole that I need in order to get it into the album. And of course, 10 is going to be adhered to the back of the left-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And then I can flip the page and show you what it looks like. And that means that I'm 10 days done with this project, which is just utterly fantastic. And then I had 11 and 12 I wanted to show you guys as well in this video because they come together fairly quick. So that way it's also too a longer process video and I hope you guys are continuing to enjoy these videos. So this is my tray for 11. I wanted to scrap lift myself where I took a large photo, put it towards the bottom, 
and then used a mix of circles. I did a project similar back in May, but I actually scrap lifted a friend named Neela as part of my Instagram friends scrapbooking series. So either way, it's a great design to repeat over and over again. I wanted to tell the story or use the photo of us going to see one of our favorite houses um, during the Christmas time. And I didn't add any journaling. I didn't feel like I had to, but I wanted to use my one and a half inch punch to make two rows of circles up at the top. And it's just going to be a really fun mix of circles. I'll also use some of my jelly jelly plate print and that is this Christmas tree pattern right here. I did that for the Allie Edwards product play class and I wanted to make sure to figure out a way to use my jelly prints at least once in this project. Um, I, I wanted to do more than once but so far it has not worked out. So I'm just punching all the different papers and trying to decide what order I want my papers in and how I want them. I thought about doing two inch circles but two inch circles were too big and there wasn't enough space. So one and a half is going to work just fine. And I also found a green chipboard that says the magic of the holidays which I will definitely add to the top of the photo. I love getting little patterns in the punched shapes. So I punched a shape that had like a, I want to say some sort of greenery in it for the top right corner. And again, used the fun like cross X pattern paper. I'm going to use that twice and this time I'll kind of tilt it. So it looks more like X's, but also so that way it's just something a little different. I have red stars that are felt that I will use. For, it's from a previous year. And same thing with the 11. So I will use the 11, but I wind up adhering it down crooked. But that's okay. That happens. But overall, this page came together super quick. And I feel like it's just, like I said, an easy design to repeat in a variety of different ways. I'm sure I could figure out a way to repeat it vertically. Like if I had a vertical photo and then a column of different punched shapes. For these felt stars, I made sure to add double-sided adhesive tape and then just put them in the corner from each other and along with the 11 chipboard, it makes a really great visual triangle. And I uh, use double-sided tape for the 11 as well. I've said throughout the making of this album, I'm adding double-sided adhesive tape to everything because I don't want to come back in a few years and my adhesive is just not working or it just wasn't strong enough for the particular item. I am going to get a few word phrase stickers to add to the page. I have yes, all the joy in the top right hand corner with the uh, star and then on my jelly print pattern I have a favorite and I think it turns out fantastic. Just a simple page to document this magical house that we just love going to every year. It's the best. And they also decorate for Halloween as well, which is always fun to go to. So I punched my holes for this page and then I got to get it into my album, but I forgot that one of the holes is going to be the transparency that I punched through. So I have to make sure that I align 11 up perfectly with 10 because I almost had to punch like new holes but I cannot punch new holes because of the transparency if that makes sense. So there's like a lot of logistic thinking <laughs> when you're trying to put this album together and put pages back to back. I don't know if you guys have noticed this or if anyone else has noticed this, but it's a lot of logistics. Like you can't just punch a hole wherever you want to punch a hole. You just can't. Um, there's a transparency there. So I had to like kind of peel it up and then put it back and make sure that 11 lines up perfectly with 10 um, and the holes that I have for number 10. So now it is done and it is fantastic and such a fun way to play with pattern papers and tell a simpler story. So I have another simple story for 12. I found this tag in my stash and decided to just go ahead and use it and tell the story of getting a Jamba Juice tr treat for my kids. You know, my dad, not my dad, the kid's dad 
always gets treats for the kids. Like he's the the fun fun parent, I guess. I don't know. I just want to get home after work and after school. I just want to get home. Um, But I told the kids on this particular day, sure, let's go get a treat. Let's just do it. It's Tuesday. Why not? A Tuesday treat. So I took a photo of us, of course, and then I wanted to get a photo of the kids and my daughter was not having it, but my son was willing to help out with that. So I made a kind of photo strip of the photos and then the one that I love, I put um, on the right hand side. You'll see that in a minute. Um, And I made that size a little bit bigger. So for this front side, I wanted to do the photo of the kids and I, and I have the red transparency for 12, and I grabbed this circle paper, and I cut out just love, and I thought maybe I'd put that on the front side, but then I realized, you know what, that has a really great spot for just a little bit of journaling, so I'll save that for the back, grab a neutral paper, and then punch out a shape, a two inch shape, so that way I can anchor down my 12. There was also a little bit of purple in the background of our photo, so I made sure to put the neutral circle kind of where that purple is, so that way the purple wasn't distracting from the photo. And then I can add a little staple for the 12 and adhere down all the pieces, and of course add a word phrase sticker, because I love word phrase stickers, I just love them. So. Again, using the mini mini stapler for these transparencies uh, feels like a must do when I'm making my pages. Whenever I have a transparency, it's like you have to staple it. That's just my go-to go to recipe, I guess, go, go-to method, whatever you want to call it. That's what I have to do. I also feel like I have this pretty tag and I should add some ribbon to the top, but I'm horrible at judging the size of ribbon um, and knowing what size to put. So I get a piece, I'm gonna thread it through and then I'll staple it up at the top. And I kid you not guys, I staple it again towards like the middle. (laughs) I need to go back and probably take out that staple and just trim it really short. Um, But I haven't done that yet, but you know. I'm just not that good adding ribbon and I feel like it has to be really, really short. So I'll know that going forward that just to use a really short piece of ribbon and then I don't have to have an awkward floating staple in the middle of my ribbon. (laughs) On the back side, I'm going to add in the ho 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 paper again to the empty spot of the little photo strip and I just kind of have to... I love this word. I say it all the time, don't I? Finagle my way into the right size that I need for this photo strip, Um, especially since I want to make sure I get the right section of paper. So I want to make sure that you can see the ho, ho, ho. And um, it turned out okay. I feel like I wound up with oh, oh instead of ho, ho. And when I was trying to get the paper to fit in that square, I did turn it and I was like, oh, this way doesn't look right. But oh well, I've got OO and I really wasn't aiming for OO, but that's okay. I'm going to tuck in the just love right above my son and daughter's photos because like I said, my daughter did not want her photo taken, but my son like tickled her and then got a great picture of the both of them. And so I put smile and kids. If I had had more time or more room, I might have done like a full page of stamping and fuller, bigger photos to document like the progression of this because it was hilarious and so sweet of my son to help me out. I used two different pens to emphasize some of the words like special treat, thrilled, photo, and best, and smile. So that was just something fun to do. I know Allie Edwards does it all the time with two different pens. So I went ahead and tried it. And once I have that done, I can go ahead and put it in the album. It's a fairly simple page, but that's okay. It's a very special story of my kids and I enjoying a Tuesday treat. Sometimes you just need a Tuesday treat. Above the 12, I put snapshot and that way it ties into the green word phrase stickers on the back. So that is a bunch of new pages. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing all of them come together. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye.